everyone. My name is Max Gullickson, and I have a cooking show that I normally run in Southbridge. But today I'm here in Charlton, in beautiful Charlton, in the beautiful senior center in the basement of the town hall because I've been, been invited here by Drew to come and do a show here, and that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to make something real simple that I like a lot. It's lemon squares, and it's a simple recipe, and if you're the type of person that gets invited to a party and you're, woe is me, I'm going to buy cookies or something like that. Friends, I'm here to tell you that you can very easily, with a few ingredients, make some lemon squares that will have all the people talking about what a swell baker you are. And it don't take much. I got all the stuff right here. I got lemon juice. I got a lemon. I got some flour and some powdered sugar and some eggs and some flour. I already said that. And some baking powder and my cups my pizza cutter, a zester, and a number of other things to make up a beautiful batch of lemon lime squares right here in Charlton because we like Charlton and we like doing cookie shows. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves ready and we're going to start making these lemon squares. We're going to show you how very easy it is for you to impress your friends at your next party by whipping up a batch of beautiful, tart, delicious lemon lime squares. And we're doing it right here in Charlton and the senior center in the basement of the beautiful town hall and we're going to get our stuff together here folks and we're going to make them up and we sure hope you enjoy the show and we'll be right back with the first step of making our lemon squares right now all right welcome back everyone to charleston massachusetts where i'm cooking up lemon lime squares down here at town hall in charleston and the first thing we have to do is make our crust and we have flour two cups one cup of powdered sugar and two sticks of butter, which are right here. And I don't know if you can see this, but with the butter, I melt it up in the microwave a little bit and make it almost all done, uh, just to make it easier to cut in. I could sit here and stir it in all day long, but we don't have time for that. So I melt a little bit and cheat uh, on getting it uh, to where I can work with it. So we're gonna take two cups of flour. And if you've been watching me in cooking shows for a while, you know that not only am I kind of messy, but I tend to eyeball stuff quite a bit. So far though I've had no horrible disasters. That's two cups of flour and now we're going to do one cup of powdered sugar. And before I stir in my butter, let me use my little fingies here and roll those together, the flour and the powdered sugar and get them started mixing. You see the mess I'm making. Mm -mm -mm. So. I don't know if you've ever noticed that you go to like a Christmas party or a, you know, a Labor Day party or something like that. And the single guys, they stopped on the way and they bought a bag of cookies at Big Y. Because they don't want to show up empty handed, but they're afraid of the kitchen. And you fellas, I'm talking to you right now. What I'm doing here, you can do. And a lot of people there will just be so impressed with your skills in making lemon squares. So I think you need to pay attention and see what I'm doing. This is all mixed together pretty well. Now I'm going to roll my butter in like that and my whisker like this and I'm going to stir it in real well for a little minute. And then I'm going to use my fingies and get the last now anytime you're cooking with or baking with flour, any chef will tell you that you don't want to work it too hard because it has gluten in it and you don't want it to lose all that elasticity here in Charlton or anywhere else for that matter. So we did it and we stirred it just barely enough. Now we got this beautiful wad of this right here. And we're going to take this. We've got our 9 by 13 pan right to my right here. And further past that we've got our oven that is preheating at 350, awaiting the arrival of our 13 by nine pan. So let's get started. I'm gonna move over here now and drop it right in here like this. And the goal here is to spread it out, sort of even, all the way to the edges, um, like this. And you can see I'm doing it pretty well. You don't really need to make a lip like you do with, say, an apple pie, for instance. You can just take it right to the edge there, like I'm doing here. And 
there we go, with my fingies. And really, that's it. I mean, this is the key to me of a lemon squirt. It's this beautiful crust. And by putting in that powdered sugar, not only is it dense, but it's also sweet, sort of like a shortbread. That's pretty even. That's going to make its way to a party eventually, and somebody's going to love it. And there it is. We have it right there like that. Fairly even. It's covered all the way. Now we're going to pop it right into our oven here, which, as I said before, has been preheating at 350 degrees. And that's step one of our beautiful recipe. We're going to wait a half an hour and let that cook and get nice and brown on top, lovely golden brown. And then while we're waiting, we're going to get the filling uh, all prepped up. And when it's done, we'll pull that out, add it in there, bake it another half an hour. And just that simple, you've got a beautiful dessert for all your buds. And we'll be right back after we clean up this mess a little bit, get ready for the next step. Right here in Charlton. So while we're waiting for our beautiful bottom crust of our lovely lemon lime squares to cook up, I'd like to take this moment to say a few words about the town of Charlton where I am the invited guest to make my lemon squares. Uh, not only is Charlton the home of the Masonic home and Dresser Hill ice cream with the clam box up there in the summertime, you can go get your ice cream and look at the beautiful scenery. It's also the home of the senior center here in the town hall, as I mentioned. And Elaine Matteris and Deborah Cheslak are running a program here that is a beautiful thing. If you're uh, along in age and you're looking for a wonderful place to commune with friends and to get a good meal for four bucks daily right here in town hall, most of you in Charlton probably already know this, but if you don't, this is a wonderful place. And you can come here, you can hang out with some peeps, you can eat good, home-cooked, in the beautiful kitchen that I'm using right now for the beautiful price of four bucks, and Elaine and Deborah will take care of you. And the other thing that they offer here for the senior types uh, is you have events. They have line dancing here. Uh, they have yoga and a number of other things. If you're just looking for something to do in Charlton, this might be the place for you if you're a senior like me. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you down here in Charlton Town Hall to enjoy the festivities and all the things that they offer. We'll be right back. We're still waiting. We've got another few minutes before that thing's a beautiful golden brown that we require. And we'll check in in a few and see how it's moving along. We'll be right back. So while we're waiting for the crust to be ready, we're going to make up the filling right now, folks. So we're going to start with four eggs, which I have right here. And we're going to crack them right into our bowl here. I hope when you cook with eggs at home, you throw the shells in the compost. Because if a tomato could talk, he'd tell you that he really likes all that calcium in the soil. And so we got our four eggs. Let me whisk them up real quick. Like so. Now, we don't need eggshell. We'll get that out of there. Whip a little more. So there's your four eggs all whipped. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of table sugar, like so. There's one cup. The max eyeball method two cups, and now we're going to roll that in to our eggs, like so, and it's getting nice and glumpy and yellow and beautiful and smooth. A 
like so. All right, that's good enough. Now, to that, we're going to add some lemon juice and lime juice. Now, folks, the key that I do that's a little bit different, the voodoo that I do, is that instead of lemon, I put lime also. And call me crazy, but lime is just so tart, right? So we're looking for 5 eighths of a cup of lemon and or lime. And I'm starting with lime because I like it better. Uh, to go in there. I'm using the last of this little container up, right? So I got about half a cup right there. And then I need a little more. I got the lemon one too. I need it to total out to five eighths. Uh, the scientific eyeball method, that's five eighths right there. So now I'm going to roll that in there like this. Mmm, starting to smell really good. As our crust bakes away and we're getting ready for that part. So we get them in there like that. And every time I stir it, it gets smoother. Now to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour to thicken it up a little bit. About like that. It's about a tablespoon. And then we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of baking powder in there also to give it a little risey when it's cookie. I'm going to roll that in. Let's stir that pretty good. I want that flour in there pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've often wondered when I make lemon squares, the crust is what makes it in a way. The, the, the filling's flavorful too, but I wonder if you could use other fruit. Like, could you make a raspberry square? I bet you could if you could kind of figure out how to love raspberry one. One day I'm going to try it, but for now I know lemons work and lime, so I'm going to stick with the tried and true. But I've often thought I should try that. Okay, the last thing in here is we're going to take our nice lemon, looking for the yellowest lemon they got down there uh, at the grocery store, and you take that and my little uh, zester machine here. Now my zester, you can run, look at that, I don't know if you can see it, a two inch piece of zest. Folks, that's too much. I got a little smaller one, so I just do about that far before I stop pulling. So I don't want the big long strings of spaghetti zest. I just want little bits of it. Sure the well. And the zest, of course, is just the top part of the lemon that you bought just for this purpose. Now in the past, I've taken the lemon, if I don't have enough juice, and just cut it and throw that juice in there too uh, to make my 5 8 cup of citrus. But this time I don't have to. And that's about all the yellow I'm going to get off of this lemon here. Like that. And let me roll that in there a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Who doesn't love the kitchen? Not this guy. Let me check on my crust right now and see if it's golden brown and delicious yet. I don't think so. I don't think it's been in there long enough. But let's have a look right now just in case. Oh, it's pretty close. Folks, it's pretty close to being done. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to clean up my mess so far. And then we're going to take that crust out and we're going to put this beautiful lemon lime filling in it and cook it for another half an hour. Let me clean up and we'll be right back. <laughs> there we go. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's a beautiful golden brown color, which is what we want. It's like a cookie on the bottom of your treat. So here we go, we're gonna pour in our filling now. Like so. I have a spatula. I'm going to get every little bit of deliciousness right in there. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Max, that seemed awful easy to me. 
How did you do that? Is it that simple? And I'm telling you right now, folks, it's that easy. This bad boy, going back in the oven for another 30 minutes, when I pull it out, magic will have happened. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to put this thing right back in the oven for 30 minutes, and then we're going to pull it out, and it's going to be beautiful. Kitchen's a happy place. There you go, folks. We're going to let that do its thing. I'm going to clean up my area, and we'll be back to finish this thing out right here in Charlton, Mass. All right, we're back here in Charlton, beautiful Charlton, Massachusetts, in the basement of the beautiful town hall. And we have here a finished plate full of lemon squares, not cut up, but this is it. Now, some of you who have been paying attention you may notice that I put in a metal pan, but this is glass. And I'm going to tell you this because we have a magic oven here in Charlton, but that's just not true. I made this one last night because I wanted it to cool off so I could show you how what we do from here. Now, last night when it was hot, just as a tip, and this is important, I scored the edges when it was still hot, 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 and it was so much easier, and then left it to cool off, which is where we are right now. And we're almost there. So what we do, I have some nice powdered sugar in my shaker here. And I'm going to give it a beautiful snowy top uh, as so. And that is going to add a little flavor and just make it pretty because pretty is important to too. And there you have it. Reminds me of snow. Uh-oh, not winter, just snow. Okay, there you go. Now, normally a 9 by 13 pan, you're going to get 24 pieces. I find a pizza cutter. So I'm going to go right down the middle here, more or less, and do that. And then one more here. Then one more here. And then this way we're going to do that. Then divide that half into thirds like this. And if they're not all even, that's just the way it goes. Some lucky soul gets a bigger square than somebody else. That's just life. And then you go like that. And then you go like that. And then you go like that. Now, I got the butter knife. I'm going to do it. The first few out are the most difficult. I'm going to score this one a little harder. See if I can get that first one out without mangling it. If you mangle one, that's the kitchen piece, you know, the, the chef gets to eat. Uh, and like that, let me go like that, and uh, voila, we have here a lemon square. And there it is. So small and so dainty and elegant and beautiful and delicious all at once. You show up to your party wearing these boys and you are going to have friends by the time you leave. Well, there it is, folks, lemon squares in Charlton in the senior center where they serve delicious $4 meals daily to people that are looking for friends and fellowship. And I'm so glad that they extended this invitation to me, Drew. Thanks a lot for asking me to come out and cook in Charlton. And it was a pleasure. And I hope that you get to try this recipe sometime. And I hope that you like to cook as much as I do. And we'll see you, Charlton, later on down the road uh, cooking with Max. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah. All right. This is where your killer action shot comes into play.